Hello everybody, I am Red King from Send More Robots, and welcome to First Impressions. Uh, so this time, for First Impression, this is a new alpha game I'm doing called Eternal Winter. So, nothing too spectacular in its setup or anything like that. I mean, well, the setup is different, but it is another survival game. Uh, it's a brand new alpha game, as you can see in the top there. Alpha version, you know, 0 0.120. This is, like, a brand new alpha game just put out, um... From what I understand, there's one guy who works on this game, and it looks pretty good. I mean, it's definitely got that cartoony feel, the trees look janky, but I mean, for one guy working on this game and putting it out, that's kind of phenomenal. He did a lot of, he, he put in a lot of effort and everything like that. I have never played this. I haven't played anything at all, so this is why it's a first impression, uh, to play through it for the first time. Um, so we're gonna go new game. And as you can see right here, it says, name your dogs, choose their traits. Uh, so, in this game, there is not only you who is surviving, it is also, um, the survival of your four dogs, because, as you can see, there's the dog and there's the sled in the background. Um, the dog, the dogs are actually the primary force of your transportation, but apparently have other factors as well, like, this one can be the tank, this one has the endurance, he is going to be, dog three is the hunter, and this one is going to be the swift one. So now each one has a specific trait that makes them different, and we will just change the names. Um, name him Derp, Herp, uh, Run Fast. Herp, Derp, Run Fast. So, you know, that, that'll be their names, so we hit done, and we're going to move on into the game. Um, but yeah, this will give me an opportunity to talk about what else is going on in this game. Uh, where I don't know any of the other premise, I don't know anything about anything. Oh, look, it gives me a little tutorial. P to pause, Q or tab to access your inventory, E to interact objects, and your dog sled. Hold shift to run, you spend calories, so calories is a thing in here. Um, space bar to jump, WSD to move, F for flashlight, and you have to mouse over your dogs and push E to feed them. Uh... You gotta aim with the right mouse button, saving your game by sleeping. Only your dogs can eat raw meat. If you want to eat meat, you must cook it. Use your compass to see, set a waypoint. Um, escape. Exit this menu. H to re-access it. Okay. Um, oh, we're gonna go back. So as you can see down here at the bottom, in the bottom left corner, it says thirst, hunger, and health. So it looks like you have little meters for everything so that we can see how well we're surviving. Uh, and see how it all looks. Oh, this looks really good so far. Oh, oh. It kind of reminds me of a less refined version of The Long Dark, which I want to play again, because that game was fun. Uh, e to pick up things, pick up some matches. That's a battery, it's not going to do me any good. Oh god, I started a fire. I didn't mean to start the fire, but whatever. Toilet paper. That looks like a brick. Uh, let's take a look at the inventory. So that's toilet paper, food... Miscellaneous, uh, number of magazines in your inventory, you start a fire, compass, mobile stove, and a sleeping bag. Interesting. This doesn't provide much light, but let's go outside and take a look. It looks pretty dang cold out here. Hello, dogs! Tank, derp, herp, uh, run is the hunter, cute, fast is swift. I didn't even do that on purpose, to be honest. Um, everything looks pretty standard, but let's... Oh, man. So, I'm using the mouse to look around, but I use the keys to run. This is pretty cool. Actually, I really like this. Even though the trees are a little janky, like, the whole aesthetic is really sweet. This looks really good. Um, I'm gonna explore around for a little bit, and we're gonna see if I can find anything of use anywhere else. I'm kind of just heading in a direction, so let's just keep going. Uh, yeah. I mean, I don't know. This seems like the time to really talk about this game, but to be honest, I know nothing else about this game except it's you and these four dogs surviving. And you're in Alaska or something, I don't know. But you're all trying to just live through. And, again, it's an alpha. It's made by one guy. He put it up on Steam Early Access so that he could, um... Invest. Ooh, those are telephone poles. This looks like a road. Yeah, let's follow the road. Um, but he put it on Steam Early Access so that he could 
indeed provide um, more support for this game so that he can create something better. Um, it's only like 10 bucks right now. It's $9.99. You know how Steam does. They always take that tax off and everything like that. But overall, they have made it a very interesting... Um, he has an interesting concept idea. I just want to see how he puts it into practice. Ooh, so if I just hit W, I don't have to keep going with it. Interesting. And he will just stop if I, if I push S. So you guys can go back to sleep now. What is this? Is this... That is an axe. That is... Mother truck and axe. Uh, let's go into this. Miss. Guns and tools. Equip. Can I cut down these trees? Let's see if I can cut down a tree. And it's definitely not meant for cutting trees. This thing is leaning now, isn't it? Oh, well. Uh, let's go explore these other buildings. Um... Yes, but he is looking for, um, he is trying to find ways to, uh, kind of build into the game and add more people to the whole design. Because again, one guy working on this entire thing. Oh, these are trucks. Maybe there's something in these containers. Um, and overall, this is, I mean, I really like the idea. I really like the concept. I just hope it doesn't turn into garbage. What happened to these trucks? That's what I really want to know. Why did this happen? How did they get so snowed in that you can't do anything about it? The shadow... Oh, you kind of shadows and everything like that. They just kind of appear. Interesting. You can't get into that container. Well, I guess there's nothing else here, dogs. Let's move on. Uh, I mean, I got some food and I got this axe. So that's a pretty good... It's time to... Uh, we're gonna go back. Um, because I'm pretty hungry. Um, I'm kind of hungry. Um, a little thirsty. But we're going to head back this way. You guys are doing all the work right now. So let's take this main road and see where this takes us. Yeah, this is a, it's a nice feature that you don't have to keep pushing W uh, to keep it going. Because you could be pushing W for hours if this is a big exploration world. Um, oh, that looks... That looks like an animal. Can I chase it? I'm gonna see if I can get it with the tax. Looks like a bird. It's probably gonna fly away. Oh, it is! Come here! Come back! No! Oh, damn it, it's too fast. Looks like I need a gun or some sort of ranged weapon. I did, it did say gun and tools, so I don't know. Maybe, maybe some gun and tools will do. Maybe that'll do. I really want to know what the function is of the dogs. Besides, you know, being your sled dogs. Like... Can I do anything else with them? I mean, they're given specific tasks, so... One's a tank, one's like a runner. Like, what What else can I do? You know, and I realize I don't even know where my house is. Oh, that place I was sleeping. I don't know about a house, but it was the place I was sleeping. Huh. But there's a deer over there. I wonder if I can, wonder if I can chase him down. Ah, uh, come here! Bring your antler, bastard. I'm gonna kill you with my axe. No, he's too fast. Anything on four legs is much faster than I am. I'm gonna go look at my dogs, because they're all laying down now. Let's see. Let's mouse over. Let's check their stats. He's a little hungry. 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 Oh, why are you sad? Talk to your guy, because there's no one else to talk to. Oh well. Why are you so depressed, dogs? Let's go. Anyways, um, I mean, I saw another deer, but I really can't do anything about food until I find a actual ranged weapon, like a crossbow or a gun. And I, all I can do is follow this road and hopefully find some sort of, uh, settlement or... Uh, I don't know, like, any house or anything? Like, I just gotta keep looking out, too, because, I mean, you can see stuff in the outside out in the world but I don't know what else I and mean, the only that's what these poles are for I mean they lead you to civilization right hopefully this will lead me to an actual town because that just led me oh see there's another house right there I have to stop at that house and hopefully find a, a weapon that will help me find food and I see more stuff out in the distance so these are very poorly constructed houses if they're just letting all the cold in 
and there's nothing in this house. Okay, fantastic. Uh, moving on. So, maybe right now he doesn't have any, uh, use for the dogs besides being your sled dogs, which is okay, I guess. It makes sense, it makes walking around and moving around the world a lot easier, because now I have a faster mode of transportation and I don't want to kill myself. That whistling is kind of annoying, but it makes sense, because they're sled dogs, they understand, like, certain commands like that. Man, you guys are... you guys are so sad. talk to you. I'm gonna talk to all of you. But you seem the saddest when I talk to you. Well, actually, I'm gonna go over to this house, because you guys don't need to run all the way. What is that over there? There might be something in here if I could get in through the frickin' door. No, it's a desk. What is that? We're gonna go over there, guys. Um, also, I wonder if, if, um, your dogs can die. And, I mean, does that significantly impact your game? Do you lose, I mean, do the other dogs go about and lose morale because one of their buddies has died? Or, let's go find out, though. We're gonna go see what this thing is over here. We're probably gonna fight it. You're an angry pig! Skinning meat. So it looks like it did actually attack my endurance dog. Um, I'm gonna give you some raw meat. That didn't help your health, which is unfortunate. So I'm gonna keep the rest of the meat for myself. So it appears that things will attack your dogs, but the dogs don't do anything. Like, they won't fight, they won't do anything like that. So I don't understand. I'm hoping, again, early, early, early access. This is very first, so it's probably like his first version that he has actually released to people. That's a big hole. Hey, crossbow! Excellent! Let's get into... I'm gonna equip this thing. You have to hold the right mouse button to shoot things. Excellent! Is it now ready to be shot? Alright guys, let's keep going. Come across another animal, I'm gonna shoot it. Oh, is that tree? Are those trees moving? That's freaking me out. So this is really serene. This is really quiet. Like, I don't feel stressed out like I did in, um, Long Dark or any of those zombie survival ones. Man, I am... You are so stressed. Because there's always the constant danger. This is more of, like, a psychological thing where it's literally... I'm alone. There's no one out here. It's just me and these dogs. And as, you know, as great these dogs probably are, they're probably very warm. I mean, that, your human psyche can only take so much. You can only enjoy this for so long. You can only enjoy the company of animals uh, for so long before you start to crave that human attention. Um, but I mean, I finally found some houses. I found some buildings. What I'm really looking for now is some sort of animal to kill. Uh, just keep my eyes open, and we don't hit this stupid thing. And they stop pretty jarringly, like, they just stop. Um, I would really like to see more of the slow down mechanic in this game. But, you know, I'm gonna say it again, as I'll probably say it another hundred times. Um, oh, I can't open this refrigerator? That's stupid. Um, it's still early. Everything about this game is early access. Nothing is refined or anything like that. He's got the few mechanics, you know, overall, but, you know, there's still going to be a lot of time and love put into this game, and I really hope that he is successful in finding uh, more funding for this. Um, I will put it up, uh, a link in the description, so that other people can go check it out and see what they think. Ooh, there's a deer. Maybe I can get him. Let's see if there's anything in here first. Nope, nothing. That was strange. Kind of just spazzed out. We're gonna try this again. Oh, yes, I got him. Oh, I am the best. Hey, look, a crossbow. Oh, do I get the crossbow bolts back? Sweet. 
How about that other one? Can I take that back? Yes! Thank goodness. So there's reusable ammo in this one. Um, let me get my axe out. And it doesn't look like there's any durability, at least not that it's mentioned. Um, that bar doesn't even finish loading. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's a durability thing going on, or any sort of, like, you need to do this in order for this to work out. It doesn't look like there's much of a crafting system either, but that may, may not be what he's going for. I would think he would include some sort of crafting system in order to really bring up that survival intensity, but he may not be shooting for that. He may be shooting for more of that, like, uh connection idea of like how I'm going to make this all work uh, how to build that relationship between the two and now I'm gonna see if I can find the house because I've gone out pretty far um... uh, we're gonna get off of this and we're gonna use the com oh equip to set this spot as your waypoint. Oh no. I definitely should have done that to begin with. Alright. I'm gonna begin the long, arduous journey through the woods to try to find my house. It looks like there might be a house over there. But, I mean, that's really way off in the distance, and I don't know if that game can handle. I mean, that looks like a building, doesn't it? It totally looks like a building out there. That's because it bloody is buildings. Oh, nice. Let's keep going. No other animals. There's nothing out there. Okay. There's a road that leads up to that house. Man, that's a big, big area. That must be like a old fort or something. Like a, a lodge, maybe? There might be some stuff up there. This was totally by accident. I am so happy with the way this worked out. Look, there's cars. Yeah, this looks like a old, like... Maybe a ski lift or something. I really want to know, like, what... I kind of want to know the premise of this and, like, what is going on here, but I also don't at the same time. Like, I don't want to know why he's in this situation. Why he is with his dogs only. Look, more crossbows. Excellent. In case I lose them. Um, I just want... I just want a little idea of, like, what I'm supposed to do. Can I, like... I think that's the, the issue with a lot of these survival games we all play these days. There's no end. Uh, there's no end goal. This, I mean, it's survival for you and your dogs, which is a great buildup, but... Again, I, I would like an end goal, goal. I would like to be able to... Um, get through what I need to, to get to the very end, which would be fantastic in... Um, you know, creating that sense of, like, oh, this is what I can do to end the game, but it's going to take me a while to get there. I don't know. That endless survival thing, kind of, two degrees is cool, but it's not at the same time. What is that? It looks like some sort of monstrosity galloping. Oh, that looks like a wolf. Oh, crap. Oh, Jesus, that thing is huge! Oh, my God! What is this? Oh, God! Derp! Or herp! Or whoever you are! You have just been taking the worst of it. Oh, man. But we're gonna go over to that. There's one more house I saw out there. I'm gonna hit that place before... We're gonna go out there. Hopefully that's my original house. I really hope so. Oh no, that's definitely not mine. That's just a barn. Um I mean my original house is now gone. I have nothing. I have no original place, no living. I don't know where that bloody thing is. Is there a map or something? No, there's no map. I mean I'm back on the road. I guess this is where we're going to set up camp. I'm going to take them inside, and we're going to go hang out in here. Ooh. What is this? What is happening? Ah, see? Like, there's some, there's some strangeness going on here. They're all walking forward to walk backwards. That's really odd. 
I really want to see if like I can detach. Can I like detach the dogs? Yeah, that was strange. I wish I could detach the dogs. Oh, thank you. Oh, okay. Some more stuff to drink. Yeah, but this is um, Eternal Winter. This is a new alpha game they have out there. Um, it's pretty. It's pretty simple. It's pretty basic. Um, he doesn't have a whole lot into it, but he's looking for support just through purchasing the game. Um, he does say it will go up in price later once it's finished, but he's trying to just build support into it in order to start to create a better experience for everyone and to make a more um, worthwhile game. Um, if you if you like this, go ahead and hit like hit that like button. If you like the game, go ahead and you know get the game, try it out for yourself. Help that guy develop more into what he's looking for a better game, a better uh, a better situation, a better world for the whole thing. Make these dogs you know less colored and more textured because uh, they're all weird. Actually, they're, it's kind of janky how weirdly colored they are. Um, but yeah, I mean, I like the premise of it. I just hope that he has, you know, the opportunity in order to create a much more interesting game uh, that has fantastic replayability. But again, if you all like this video, go ahead and hit that like button for us today. Um, subscribe, you know, see more videos that we have. I'm going to be doing a lot more of these first impression games so that we can all play, uh, kind of get an idea of what's going on, what's out there, and anything like that. Um, but yeah, always remember who you are and what you are. Don't go doing anything in that crazy winter wonderland. And always remember, for some reason this left dog gets attacked more than any other dog. I just don't understand. Oh well. Bye guys! The small one, which just